All right, folks, it's Saturday night, and we saw The Hill, all the news reporting Hillary said to replace Joe Biden. I called Roger Stone, I called other sources, they said, yeah, that's the war. They're really gonna try to replace Joe Biden in Chicago with Hillary Clinton, with all of her criminal activity, all of her background, all of this. So they are literally involved in a Democrat civil war, a power struggle over what public gets control, Biden had a closed election. He had a closed primary. That was all rigged. He stole the election four years ago, tried to take Trump off the ballot, and now Hillary is swooping in to be the nominee above Big Mike, Gavin Newsom, Governor Whitmer, Kamala Harris, all of them. This is huge. It's all over the news. They're actually going to try to do this. It's how arrogant and crazy they are. So Hillary Clinton thinks with the deep state behind her, that she's gonna be there because they want her. She wants World War III with Russia. She said that, and Trump says he'll end the war. He talked to Zelensky today. So to stop World War III, we gotta get President Trump elected. But that warmongering, evil monster Hillary thinks that she is about to swoop in and last minute be the nominee and then they try to steal the election. It's not gonna work, they're already trying to kill Trump. We're in epic times, pray for Trump, pray for America, pray for the world. And I think Hillary's gonna fail again. She was gonna be the Madam President. Newsweek printed up all the magazines. She was the president. It's all a lie. Hillary Clinton, you'll never be president. Just like the neocons and the Bushes and all of them, you're done. Your time is over. America's coming together. God bless everybody. I'll be covering this all live at Real Alex Jones on X. Please follow me at Real Alex Jones on X. But pray for America, pray for peace, because this is dangerous. And they tried to kill the next president of the United States. Enough was enough. And I said, let trump -a -mania run wild, brother. Let trump -a -mania rule again. Let trump -a -mania make America great again. All Christian up against the wall. And it felt like I was, in my dream, I felt like I stuck to the wall like on Velcro. There was about 15 of us that were up against this wall. When Hillary Clinton entered the room, she entered wearing the ball gown, dressed in white, with gold lace. She had a golden crown on her head. She had a golden scepter in her hand. The music changed, as if the grand entrance of queens. And she stood in the center of the room and lifted the scepter and said, this is the end of Christianity as you know it. Now you might say, I woke up from the dream, it's 2004. Uh, she was a U.S. she was a U.S. senator from New York at the time, and I thought, oh my lord, she's going to run for president. And guess what? She did. She ran for president in 2008, but she lost. And I was praying, dear God, no. Of course, I knew that I was struggling with Obama as well, so I didn't, you know, but I didn't want Hillary to win. I was hoping that, that she would lose, and she did to Obama. But then he won. But I thought we had dodged a bullet. I thought. The dream is not a nightmare. But guess what? She's back, and she's run again in 2016. This time, she has received the nomination. And so I sit back, and I think of that dream that was 12 years ago, and I start to wonder, oh, my Lord, was you warning us, God? Was that a warning dream, or was that a prophetic dream? And I keep praying about it. I keep asking God, was it a warning that, we, that we're going to, or was it prophetic that this is what's going to happen? I keep believing and hoping it's, it was a warning. And then in that 2014, when the Lord came to me and said, America's going to have to choose one nation under God or not, and Dr. Ben Carson confirmed that Tuesday night, I believe that's what's happened. We've come to this point. Is God saying to me, we can choose the right way or go the wrong way? Or was God saying to me, you'll get a choice, but they're going to choose the wrong? I don't know. I don't think that's it. I think it was a warning dream in 2004 and that the choice is now. I think that's why we have uh, the firemen and the prophetic uh, uh, vision about Trump. Uh, it's why T.D. Hale had a prophetic vision from the Lord about Trump standing behind a draped casket in front of him. Trump is walking toward the White House. But in front of him is a coffin with a flag on it. And he, in the dream, in other words, he wins the election, but does he ever get in the White House? Uh, T.D. Hale never sees him go into the White House. He sees him walking toward it with a casket in front of him.
What does that mean? Will there be a default? Will there be martial law? Will there be something, an assassination or something? Will something take place? This is unbelievable. But I, I, I know that there will be a day when this will come very clear. I know that there's a day coming when this will become very clear. But one thing's for sure. Uh, we're living in the days that the Bible said would come. We're living in the last day. And they are, there are demon spirits at work. They are principalities. There are powers that are trying to manipulate the minds of the leaders of the world. And the reason the EU is in the mess it's in is because Angela Merkel and some of the others there uh, opened the floodgates to the migrant uh, Muslims from North Africa and from the Middle East. A lot of those folks were desperate and needed.